Welcome students. I am Jatta Priyam from Sadhguru Gargi Maharaj College, Karat. Today we are going to learn first poem from section 2 poetry. There are 14 marks for poetry section in activity sheet. 10 marks for the activities based on based on the poem and four marks for an appreciation. Section 2, 2.1, Song of the Open Road, page number 93. Song of the Open Road is written by Walt Whitman. The title of the poem is Song of the Open Road. It is very significant. The poet used the, the word song with a definite purpose that uh, poet also enjoys to travel on the open road without any tension and worries of past, present and future and face the life without any complaint against the life. The song of the open road also indicates freedom. Let's see. First, icebreakers, icebreakers of the poem. The first question. Choose the mode of travel that you would like the most for a journey. Here are given four options. A. Airways. B. Waterways. C. Railways. And D. Roadways. Give reasons for your preference. In this first question, you should choose one of the options from four which is convenient and suitable for you. And give preference, sorry, give reasons for your preference. So, I will also choose option C, railways. I will write only the answer of answers of the first question. So, I will choose the first option, sorry, option C, railways. Now, I will give the preferences for my choice. First preference. Saving of money. Saving of money because ticket price is low. There are three reasons for my option railways. You can choose another mode of travel which is convenient for you. Second question. Discuss with your partner the preparations you would like to make for the journey chosen. Before journey. You should prepare yourselves. What preparations you would like to make for your journey? Share with your friends. First, 
choose the right travel bag for your trip second carry a small first aid box flashlight and reusable water bottles third keep emergency cash with you and keep backup of credit card or debit card and fourth make copies of important documents you may add more points in it too question third discuss the ways in which you would overcome the problems hindrances difficulties you face during your journey students during the journey there may be some problems difficulties telling the way how would you face and overcome on these problems don't be afraid every problem has solution so at the first i will keep my stable second i will try to get support from locals and police in case of theft in case of accident missing route or problem of communication at a new location third i will try to learn and understand the language of my destination and fourth i will cooperate with the food tradition and culture you may add more points in it too question 4 during every journey we have to observe certain rules discuss your ideas of the journey without any restrictions you can begin like this option a i would go alone oblique i would go with selected friends oblique dot dot here you should select your own option to go your journey why journey we see there are some rules and regulations and we should follow it every time but i want to do journey without any restrictions so i have ideas in my mind about this journey first i will go with selected friends second i would enjoy to the fullest extent without any burden of parents i would be free relaxed and untroubled and third i would able to do whatever i want to do let's see about poet song of the open road is written by walt whitman page number 94 walt whitman was born on 1819 and died on 1892 He was an American poet, essayist, and a journalist. Whitman Whitman is among the most influential poets in the American canon, and is often called the, the father of free verse. He grew up in Huntington in a family with difficult economic status. His major work, Leaves of Grass, was published in July 1855. His O Captain, My Captain, a poem written on the day of Abraham Lincoln, is widely popular. Here we get information about the poet Walter Whitman. Was an American poet, essayist, and journalist. He was often called the father of Three words. His poem, "O oh, Captain, My Captain," and his poetry collection.
प्रेशर व्यूज ऑफ ग्रास आर इज रिमार्केबल लिटररी वर्क वॉल्ट विटमन स्ट्रॉन्गली एडवोकेटेड इम्पोर्टन्स ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी एंड फ्रीडम वॉल्ट विटमन डाइड ऑफ द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी टू आफ्टर सफरिंग स्टो इन एटीन नाइंटी टू द सेक्शन वन ऑफ सॉन्ग ऑफ द ओपन रोड फ्रॉम व्यूज ऑफ ग्रास इज ए ब्यूटिफुल ब्लेंड ऑफ सेल्फ अवेयरनेस free will and the tenderness of heart it gives us poets realization that along the journey of life one will face a test of wisdom which is not tested in any school or university a road is something every one uses whether rich or poor and it forces all levels of people to associate with one another the road signifies mobility one can take the road as a point to start over towards something new whitman talks about the people and places he argues against staying in one place for too long although the hospitality may be true in this second paragraph we get information about poem song of the open road is written in the free verse free verse means there is a no rhyme scheme and the meter and the length of the lines and stanzas are not equal so the song so song of the open road is written in the three verse and is in the form of monologue by the poet the poet also expresses his open thoughts over journey of life take along different road the unrhymed and varying length of lines shows the complexities and the up and downs one cases in his life it also indicates poet's inner desire to enjoy life to its fullest without bothering about the tensions and worries it is inspirational poem written in the form of narration this poem is an ode to one's self let's see poem song of open road now i will read the first stanza of the poem listen carefully a foot and light hearted i take to the open road a foot write down new words a foot a foot means going on foot and second word is light hearted light hearted means cheerful light hearted means cheerful a foot and light hearted i take to the open road healthy free the world before me the long brown path before me leading wherever i choose in this first stanza we see that the poem begins with poet's journey on foot on the open road here the road means the road of life he expresses that he is very cheerful poet expresses that he is very cheerful to take the journey in this healthy and free world 
the poet knows that he is in charge of his journey to determine which path to choose poet also traveling alone on the road be bold and courageous the poet is ready to walk carefully on the path which is leading him to the destination is moksha prapti our tradition in this first stanza poet also enjoy traveling on the open road at its fullest extent next stanza hence forth i ask not good fortune i myself am good fortune hence forth i whimper write down new words whimper whimper means low voice of cry or make a series of low b sad cries especially with fear and the pain hence for i whimper no more postpone no more write down new word postpone 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 means to stop for the few days postpone means to stop for few days postpone no more need nothing then the indoor complaints libraries curious criticism write down new word curious 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 means complaining showing that one is irritated or argumentative in marathi curious means chirkor takrar ko curious criticisms criticism means comment strong and content content means satisfied content by the new word content content means satisfied strong and content i travel the open approach in this uh, second stanza we see that the poet is aware of his ups and downs he is not praying to god to shower upon him good fortune confidently he says that he is he himself is creator of his good fortune here he also encourages to reader you are the creator of your good fortune in marathi tuj ahe tujha jivanacha shilpaka aham brahmasi this is optimistic and realistic approach towards the life of what we want here poet also acts that he will not cry or hesitate to do anything without postponing it and expects nothing he already experienced it about all sorts of worries tensions and difficulties inside the four walls and outside according to poet the difficulties had made him stronger to travel on the road with satisfaction at the heart the poet is strong and happy enough to travel on the road in the second stanza we get information poet confidently says that he himself is the creator of his good fortune he is not depend on anybody even to god he says that he is 
creator of his good fortune and he is quite happy and strong to walk on open road with the satisfaction of his heart third stanza listen carefully the earth that is sufficient i do not want the constellations write down new word constellations constellations means gathering of people or influential groups of people i know they are very well where they are i know they suffice write down new word suffice suffice means sufficient or enough or adequate i know they suffice for those who belong to them in this third stanza we got information that the pro the poet tries for himself free from worldly pleasures and relations even though he has great faith in those people around him he has great faith in the people and the relations around him and he knows that they are doing well and he is happy with them but no more he likes to engage himself in things and other people as he thinks that the mother earth is now enough for him to travel therefore the poem establishes the idea that the earth offers us multiple chances to fulfill our dreams with the right amount of motivation and the determination in this third stanza we see that poet wants to be free from worldly pleasures and relations though he is happy with them but no more he wants to engage with these people he wants to free from all the relations of the world and he also became happy at that time to say that the mother earth is enough for him to travel and he get the motivation and the determination for his traveling for the stanza listen carefully still here i carry my old delicious burdens write down new word delicious burden delicious burden means sweet memories of the past delicious burdens i carry them me and to me i carry them with me wherever i go i swear swear means sure swear means sure i swear it is impossible for me to get rid of them write down new phrase to get rid to get rid of means to free from something to escape from something to get rid of them i am filled with them and i will feel them in return students you see that the last stanza is in bracket it is called a parenthesis the parenthesis array into bracket is not actually an addition or even 
the thing we have forgotten. But it is a separate thought in itself. Here, poet also expresses his express expresses his separate thought in the last stanza. The poet is quite happy with his burdens and he has used past delicious burdens. You know that the burdens are not delicious. It is absurd. A burden cannot be delicious. The poet used this combination of words to express that he has many sweet memories of the people and the places which he would like to remember forever. So, poet is quite happy with his burden of men and women around him. Because he knew very well that he cannot get rid of these burdens. The last line is very realistic. Where the poet says that he is full of those worries, burdens with equal burden to return to. So in the last line. Poet says that he filled his heart with the past memories of his dear and near one. And same way, he will also remain in the heart of his dear and near ones. He never be free from these sweet memories of the past of his dear and near ones people. Here we see poet inspires, encourages two readers to take joy in the life, neglecting worries, tensions, and the difficulties. Actually, poet says that the difficulties and problems are the parts and parcels of human life. You must face the problems and get enjoy in your life. So, this poem is encouragement for the reader to take enjoy in the life. Thank you.